Hey guys, so I'm not going to be before you long. Um, today is Mother's Day. And you guys know that I am not the type to be trying to come up with a word um, just so that so that it match matches the world's um, holidays. And um, I, I just don't I don't do that. You know what I mean? Um, but God is giving me a word for mothers on Mother's Day. Um but do not come at me and say, well, you know what? God doesn't honor, you know, these uh, man-made holidays. You know, we need to worry about the feast days. Don't come at me with all that. I'm just letting you know that um, God has given me a word for mothers on Mother's Day. And, you know, this happens quite often where God will give a, a word like, say, the new year, and it's not necessarily the um, Hebraic new year. Like, so in January, God will give, or even in December, he will give a word for, you know, 2023 uh, or whatever year that we're in. And yes, it's not the biblical new year, but God will still um, honor it. And so, so it is with this word that God gave me for Mother's Day. Um, so I had this dream or um, before I woke up in the morning, I had this dream. And in the dream, I saw this hotel and I'm looking at it and I'm like, OK, what is this hotel? And it said um, like the advertisement was like it was just like a clean place, no bugs. Because, you know, when you go to a hotel, you know, you always I, well, I do. I don't care how high scale or low scale it is. I always look in the little crevices in the mattress to make sure there's like no bed bugs or anything like that. Because you can see if there was, there should be like some, you know, some fragments of whatever the bugs are that will be left. So, um, but the hotel was just said, you know, clean, no frills, a place for moms to come and rest and it was just a basic place to go. It wasn't like, a, uh, you know, a five star. It was just a, a basic, clean place where mothers could be, you know, safe to just close their eyes and sleep. And I woke up from that and I was just like, that's strange. What's that? You know what I mean? I woke up, realized, okay, it's Mother's Day. God is speaking about mothers and their need for rest and that he's going to give it to them. So there must be some mothers out there that um, it's just maybe you don't have a support system. And it's just been nonstop, you know, from the moment, you know, whether you birth the child or the child, you know, you you know, had the child through some other means, you know, adopted or whatever it is. Um, there's some mothers out there who has just been non-stop, you know, it's just go, 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 go. Whether, you know, from birth to 18 plus that you just been running ragged, you know, and uh, even a special shout out to, to special needs moms. Like, nobody understands that unless you're in that, that situation. And so it's just nonstop, and you're just going. And by the strength of the Lord, you know what I mean? If it wasn't for the Lord, you, you know, you wouldn't have been able to, to maintain. And so God is saying that there's going to be a season of rest. And I don't know what that looks like for you. It might be a literal hotel. Maybe somebody might sponsor you and say, you know what? I got enough for you to go for two days and just go, just, just, you know, turn off. And that's the thing with moms, you know, especially working moms, they don't get to turn off. You know what I'm saying? They um, constantly, they, they might be working and then they come home and then they start their second job, which is being mother, which, which is being a mother. You know, and even uh, stay at home moms, that's that that ain't no turn off either. Like you just keep going. And um, 
it took a while for, you know, society to, to kind of realize that, you know, that moms just keep going. And so God is seeing that, um, that keep goingness. I guess that's a word I'm making up. God is seeing that keep goingness of moms that it's just keep running, running, running. And God wants you to rest and, and you know, you need to rest, but it's like, how can you? Because the situation isn't, is not, um, it's not conducive or there's, there's no way for you to get that rest, but God is going to show you that there is a way. But like I said, some of you, it might be a literal hotel for some of you. It just might be, um, a rest where you, the, the help is coming. The support is coming. Some of you might be a rest in, in your mind. You know, moms are, are known to be worrying all the time. And some of us need to learn how to rest in the Lord and give that child over to God and let, and just believe God. I remember a time where, um, I was so concerned about one of my, my, my kids and they, you know, they were, uh, they were an adult at that time. And, uh, I was so concerned of my kid. And I'm like, but, but God, but what if he died? You know, or what if, what if this? And, and what if that? And God just had to shake me and um, just shake me inside of my soul. You know, it wasn't like a literal shaking, but he just had to like basically hold me and just say, your child, he shall live and not die. Live. And at that time, I didn't know that was a, a scripture. And so if you're like that, if you're that mother um, that's so worried about your child, maybe you had to show them some tough love. God says he shall live and not die, live and not die. So whoever that's for, um, because that just came to my remembrance. So somebody need to hear that your, your child shall live and not die. And that's it. God has said it. You're going to believe that and you're just going to walk in that and move on. And that will give you the rest in your in your mind. Because sometimes we, we keep going, the worrying and, and, and anxiety and, and the repeated thoughts, it just keeps going. It doesn't stop. And God is going to give you that rest in your spirit, the rest in your soul that you need. So that's it, guys. I don't know who that's for. It's probably most mothers across the land that need that rest, but all mothers are not connected to God. And so the ones of you that are connected to God and this um, bears witness in your soul and your spirit, then, um, then this one's for you. Know that that rest is coming and know that, um, that you're appreciated. They got to appreciate your sacrifice because being a mother is a sacrifice. And anybody that's a mother that ain't out there sacrificing, then um, I don't know. Unless you got, you know, millions of dollars and you got nannies and 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 um, whatever. But even still, even still, you know what I'm saying. It's still a sacrifice. You know what I'm saying. You can't do the things that you maybe once did. You want to be an example for your for your child. So. All right, well, I'm getting off on a tangent. All right, well, guys, I love you. Take care. Um, and I, whoever this message is for, um, I can't um, I, I can't wait to see the rest that the Lord is going to pour upon you. So, um, and like I said, it's Mother's Day, so maybe some of y'all might even be getting, you know, gift cards to go away somewhere. All right, well, God bless you. I love you. And until we meet again. Like, share, and subscribe. Bye.